Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to all of you. Today is going to be my Christmas home tour for 2020. Definitely went all out this year. We have a new kitchen Christmas tree. My dining room is completely different than last year. And I also did the banister garland a little bit different than last year. Um, and switched up how I did the ribbon on the trees and or on the tree in the family room. So definitely a lot of new stuff to share with you um, if you're comparing to last year's Christmas tour, which I will leave linked down below because I still absolutely love that one too. But I wanted to post this as early as possible to give you guys inspiration for your Christmas decor. I know a lot of you like to decorate the day after Thanksgiving, so that's why I am posting this today. So on that note, I really hope you enjoy the tour and let's get right into it. I'm only going to be showing the inside of the house and not the outside decor. I will show you all of our lights and outside decor during Vlogmas this year. And if you're not sure what Vlogmas is, it means I'm going to be vlogging every day until Christmas starting December first. So if you're new here, please subscribe and we will get started on the Christmas home tour. Okay, walking into the front entry, I have this wreath here, which I purchased last year from Pier 1. And then we have our little bench to take off your shoes or put on your shoes. <laughs> that little pillow's from the bullseye spot, but last year. And then moving over, we have the banister garland. I did something a little different this year with the ribbon. And I'll get up close to the ribbon in a moment here. Um, I really like how it drapes down and I did more like a draping of the garlands instead of wrapping it around the banister this year. And then walking up over here, I'll just show you how I tied the two different ribbons together and then kind of pulled them apart a little bit and shaped the bows because these do have wire in them. And the garland was pre-lit already and that is from Kirkland Home. I will link that for you. And then on the main front entry table here. Um, it's a little more simplistic than past years, but I really like how it turned out. These um, two floral arrangements are from Kirkland Home. They did come with the beautiful bows as well. And then the Ho 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 sign is from the Bullseye Spot this year. Good tidings of comfort and joy. This sign, I believe, was from Kirkland Home. And then the sign in the back there, that is so cool, I love it. Um, it was handmade too, and I will leave that website link down below. And then we've got a Bath and Body Works candle with a little um, wreath that again was purchased at Bullseye Spot. And this beautiful pine cone little swag floral is from Target and it's from Magnolia Home. I have this really awesome metal truck that was found at Hobby Lobby. I actually got it as a gift from my mom last year. We've got a little reindeer, a little checkered reindeer. Don't mind our security camera. And then we have Rudolph and Herbie from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer in the truck with a big tree and some really beautiful bows, checkered bows. And this is our front entry Christmas tree. I think this one's super whimsical and fun. And it has the beaded garland and is actually from Walmart, so you can find that right now. I love the big metal snowflakes. I have a few of those going throughout it and I love these really larger three-dimensional snowflakes. These ones are from Pier 1. Those are from Rodworks, which is a boutique here in Arizona. But this is mostly buffalo check, a little, a few red accents, this hat, I love it. I just got this this year from Kirkland Home. It's so easy to put on. I'm like not worried that it's gonna fall sometimes when I put stars on. I feel like I'm worried it's gonna fall. And these poinsettias are from Valerie Par Hill.
So this is my favorite area of the home. It's just so Christmassy. This is our family room and then transitioning into the kitchen, which is also very, very Christmassy this year. All right, so starting in the family room, I do have a Hallmark movie on, which pretty much is 24 seven. And this little throw is from Target. It says ho, ho, ho all over it. It's so soft and cozy. And it has like a fleece underneath. And then over here on our two little side chairs, everyone always asks about these chairs and the furniture in here is all from living spaces. So I will, I can't really link furniture, unfortunately. But anyways, this pillow is from Pure One and the other one with the little cute trucks. This one is from Hobby Lobby. And so is the throw, which is the coziest throw. If you can find it, it's like heavy and so warm. And then this little cute countdown is from Hobby Lobby. And I have these cute little mats that have little red polka dots on them that were purchased around Valentine's Day of last year, but I just thought that they fit. Moving over into the hutch. I decided this year to add some twinkling lights to the garland. The garland was purchased at Kirkland's and there's two different um, pieces that I strung together to get all the way across our hutch because we do have a pretty large hutch. Um, and the little Merry Christmas sign is also from Kirkland. And then I wanted to keep it all very traditional this year with green and red. Trees up on the top are from Walmart. They had some really great decor this year. I've had these wood snowflakes for quite a long time, but I did make sure to put them on both sides. I'm all about symmetry. <laughs> you guys will see that. And then this cute little gnome guy was a gift, I believe, from my mom, but I'm not sure what she got him, but isn't he so cute? And then down here, we have some jingle bells that were from the Target dollar spot last year. I love that it says jingle all the way on them. And then these really fun twinkling lanterns are from Valerie Parr Hill from QVC. to the magical tree. I love this tree so much. Really like how it turned out this year. My tree is from King of Christmas. My little angel is actually my gram was my grandma's. Um, she put her out every year and now I put her out every year. So I love that. And then I did go with some larger ornaments this year to as accents. Like these larger ones here are from Walmart. And I believe these are as well. But yeah, I, I put those on first after the ribbon. And as you can see, I did do the ribbon very different than I have in years past. I really love it. What I did was twist and tuck to kind of get this effect. And I started from the top and I have four different um, rolls of ribbon that were used for this tree. And I started from the top and just worked my way down and kind of did it in a zigzag. Next year, I will film how I do it so that you guys can kind of get a better idea. I do not have a topper on this tree. I just didn't think it needed it this year. And then moving over to the sofas. I've had these snowflake pillows for years and years. When I used to have more of a glam house, I use them and I just feel like it still works here now. And then I just recently got that pillow that says Believe and it is a Ray Dunn pillow from Home Goods. And then these two pillows here are from Kirkland home and then over here on our table I strung some lights that I found at the Dollar Tree around the little glass trees these larger trees I found at Target but actually the exact same kind here um, you can find at Home Goods has them for cheaper so be on the lookout but all of these trees can also be found at Target 
And then the tiny little miniature trees that I incorporated are from the Target dollar spot and they were only a dollar. And then this runner I've had for a while, it's reversible. Um, and I really love the little detail on the edges here. These little coasters were in a set and they are from Magnolia Home from Target. And this tray is actually from Walmart. And then moving over here, we have our new advent calendar. My mom found it at Home Goods and gifted that to us. I can't wait to start using it. And actually, I'll turn it on because it does light up. And then I have a fresh arrangement that was sent to me from my aunt. It smells so good. And then we have this adorable wreath that I found at Big Lots. And it already had the adorable little trucks and the little metal houses on it. I think it looks perfect with the rest of the decor. And then moving on, transitioning into the kitchen, I moved our, usually I have blankets hanging on this ladder and it's usually more centered into the family room, but I decided to put it here this year. It's kind of like ironic that it says, let it snow when I live in Arizona, but <laughs> it's cute. And that's where our stockings are hung this year. And on our sofa table this year, I put our little village because I wanted to be able to see and enjoy it every day. We had it on our front entry last year and I just miss getting to see it um, around where we kind of hang out. So here's my little village. I did end up putting little wreaths on each metal house which were found at the Target dollar spot. They might not have exactly the same ones this year because they are from years past, but they they are similar. Now the brushed bottle trees the white ones are from the target dollar spot but the green ones with the little bulbs are from the 99 cent store so definitely check them out because i thought those were so awesome and the smaller ones i believe i don't remember if they came individually or in a set of two but the bigger ones were a dollar on their on their own now the church this little church lights up and it's from kirkland home the little trucks are ornaments that I cut the strings off and made, you know, just into our little village display. And then I do still have um, my little nativity here that I got at Target last year. It did not have a manger with it, which I'm still on the hunt for the perfect manger. I saw some at Hobby Lobby and that were really nice, but they were just too large for the setup I have this year. So um, I did hear that the Target Nativity that's very similar to this one actually has a manger that comes with it this year. So keep that in mind if you're looking for something similar. And then moving over into the kitchen area. Just gonna give you a quick overview. All right, here at the kitchen table, it's pretty simplistic. Um, I did put two tea towels and I steamed them and fit them onto the sofa. So I feel like it, it looks like it's a part of the chair. Um, I loved the sayings and I just wanted to have them out the entire season. I did recently find those at the bullseye spot at Target. And then this beautiful centerpiece is from Kirkland Home. They have a lot of similar ones. I love just like the different textures, the pine cones and the berries. And then I just have a simple Buffalo check runner. Then on our bar area, I hung those, the same wreaths that I purchased last year, which were from Hobby Lobby. And then I just added the, the ribbons and pinned them to the chair. And then here on our light, I have some little holly clusters from Hobby Lobby once again. <laughs> um, and then here is my hut for this year. I really love how it turned out because it is gingerbread theme, like a bakery and gingerbread theme. Um, I will get closer in a moment. Starting at the bottom of the hut, I laid down some fake snow that I found at the dollar store. And then I have a little candy cane shaped in a heart, my little gingerbread 
um, figurines here are from Valerie Parr Hill, as well as those trees and the little cookies. They actually light up here. And also you will see these little peppermint candies. They're mercury glass. They light up as well. That one, and there's two more in another area. Those are all from Valerie Parr Hill from QVC. And then all my canisters are, most of them are Ray Dunn. The only two that are not are the Cookie House and Cookies for Santa. Both of those were found at the Bullseye Spot this year at Target. I did show these on the vlog last week, but aren't these spoons incredible? They are so intricate and cool. These are from Amazon. The roll, mini rolling pin and this larger rolling pin is from Home Goods, but they have very similar ones on Etsy that I will link for you guys. And I mean, how cute are these lollipops? These are from the Dollar Tree. And then this girl, she has a special story. My great grandma, who has um, now passed away for a few years, but she was purchased by my great grandma for me and she actually sings, her mouth moves. And I've had her for years and years and she's always a part of my decor because I've always loved gingerbread. Um, men and girls, just like, I don't know. I just had a thing for gingerbread always. How cute is this jar also? It was purchased a few years back at the bullseye spot, but. And this was an ornament that ended up the little um, hook on the top broke off. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna use it as a cookie in my display. So she's grabbing for the cookie. over to my mug tree this year. So I did one very similar last year, but this year I made it even more full and tree-like. And I absolutely love it. I love it even more than last year. I also added some little bulbs and a little star on the top. This was for a smaller tree, like the mini trees, but I used it for this. And then I have all my Ray Dunn mugs, which honestly the Christmas Ray Dunn mugs are my favorite. The red mugs especially always get me. You can't really see this one, but it says ho, 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 and Santa's helper. And then I just have like a little plate, a Ray Dunn plate that I used as the stump. Some little gingerbread people together and our little Christmas countdown. I added a little, I keep saying little, <laughs> I added a glitter poinsettia clip from the Dollar Tree. And now since we're next to the kitchen, we might as well transition into that. Chris just bought me beautiful flowers yesterday. He's so sweet. So over here on the bar, I have all the little plates set up like this. So we have underneath here it says believe with a little charger. The napkins I found on Amazon, if you can believe it, this plate is from the Dollar Tree. I just love the little holly leaves and I thought it matched perfect especially with the mats that I have this year. And then the little truck appetizer plates are from Pottery Barn, but a few years back. And then, oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite things in the decor this year, this cute little cake stand that I made into a little gingerbread house silhouette of, not a silhouette, but I forget what that's called. Kind of like, like a shadow box in a way. Um, I did see this idea on Pinterest and I will try to find the original idea to link them. The cake stand is from Magnolia Home from Target. It's beautiful quality, seriously. I just recently purchased it. And then the little gingerbread houses are from the Bullseye Spot last year. So for my three-tiered tray this year, I did a Santa theme. And if you follow me on Instagram, you would have already seen this. I'm just gonna do a close up so you can see all the little details, even down to the little Christmas sacks and Kringles candy canes. I just thought that was a perfect fit. If you can believe it, this adorable little sign, again, from Dollar Tree. You have to go when it's not the season though. So 
big tip for you is if you're looking for Christmas from the dollar spot, you got to get it at Halloween or, or like even before Thanksgiving. So we've got Kissing Santa, Mrs. Claus, their little salt and pepper shakers from Pottery Barn, but they don't have them anymore. So I will link the two I found on Amazon. This cute little um, mason jar looking item with a little t um, Christmas sprigs. That's from Kohl's. And then I just love this. I just want to bake stuff and watch Christmas movies. Amen, sister. And all three of these items were found at Target. So here in our kitchen tree, I used half of a red tin collar and cornered the tree. So that is why it's not all the way around if you notice that, but I think it still looks really good. The little metal packages with the jingle bells are from Hobby Lobby. And because they have slits in them, I have put twinkling lights in them and at night we turn them on. But I will get close so you guys can see all the fun gingerbread theme ornaments. Just absolutely love all the little peppermint garland. The peppermint garland is from Michael's, but a lot of these ornaments are from Hobby Lobby. And some I've had for years, like this little kitchen aid or little mixer mock ornament. And I'd have to say, this one's one of my favorites, this cute little cake, gingerbread cake. That one was found at Hobby Lobby. And then up on the top, I used different kind of candy looking picks to make a little topper. They were all found at Michael's. And they go all the way around because I made sure that it would look cute from every angle. Right next to it, we have our little hot cocoa station. So we have some Christmas Oreos all stacked up in this jar. I love that they're red and I love that they have these really cute little imprints on them. How cute is that? So moving over, the little gingerbread girl and boy are again from Valerie Parr Hill. And the ribbon, they look like peppermint ribbons to me. They sparkle, they're so pretty. Those trees are from Michael's as well as the jars that are the cutest Christmas decor item I have seen all year. Look how adorable these are. I have some peppermint sticks in there. Then we've got two different kinds of Swiss Miss hot cocoa, the marshmallow and the sugar-free. Can you guess who eats what <laughs> or drinks what? And then I have a cute little faux topper here from an Etsy shop. And then another one of those adorable canisters from Michael's with some marshmallows. And then on the bottom, we have some fun Christmas mugs. The little Santa's milk item is from Michael's and the mini marshmallow container is from Hobby Lobby. These little lights with the little trees and snow are just so adorable. I think they're just like that little extra touch. I will actually turn everything on at night so you guys can see everything illuminated and Christmassy. And over here we have um, just a couple little tiny mugs with the sign. We go together like hot chocolate and marshmallows. These little peppermint spoons I found at Dollar Tree. And then these little wooden spoons are from Hobby Lobby. I've had them um, since last year, but they do have them again this year. And moving on to the other side here, um, I just put these cute little gingerbread girl and boy here from Hobby Lobby, and then some bottle brush trees with some fake snow. This wooden wreath was purchased at the Bullseye Spot this year, and I added this sparkly Santa bow. Let me close this window just so you can see it a little bit better. 
so many of you ask about this cow. And again, it's just bringing a little bit more of my grandparents into my home. They had this in their kitchen above their oven. And she was one of my favorite things in their house. And so um, luckily my mom allowed me to have her. So she's in our kitchen all the time, keeping an eye on us. And she has her cute little berry wreath to make her all festive for Christmas. Isn't she cute? And then we have some treats over here. We've got some glass trees full of candy. If you're curious what's in there, it's hugs and kisses, but the kisses are almond. And then we've got some Reese's in here, which are Chris and I's favorite. Gavin's not a huge fan. He'd probably go for those more than the Reese's. And then I just put little candy canes, mini candy canes around the edge so the orange doesn't doesn't peek through as much because it's not my favorite. And then um, this beautiful piece, it's super sparkly and girly and just so beautiful. I love it. It's also from Home Goods. And I just love the pastel colors, but since it didn't really go with our very traditional color scheme, I decided to put it over here in this corner since it matches my KitchenAid. Then going back into the main area, here we have um, my Magnolia table cookbook. I love this cookbook. A little snowman nutcracker and then this tree i put together so i got this tree last year at the target dollar spot but they have something similar this year and the little ornaments were very inexpensive i believe like for the whole set they were two dollars and some cents at walmart for and there was a set of the trucks and a set of these little tags and i just love what the little tags say they're so country and cute we've got a little towel here with a gingerbread and then this beautiful sign is from Kirkland. This is the Butler Pantry area. So this is functional and cute because I do use the items that are right here. This is like our makeshift fruit bowl at the moment. I love that it says Santa Claus and that it's bright red, but then I put some little ornaments on top of my canisters there. And then I love these mercury glass trees. This one's from Michael's and this one I found at Home Goods. And I just suck a bunch of jingle bells inside of there. And then I do have a little, um, what is this called? Like a scent portable, a wallflower. That's what they're called from Bath and Body Works. But look how cute that little scene in there is. And it, it's a nightlight as well. And then this happy little guy's from Kirkland and he lights up as well. Now moving into the laundry room. I love how this turned out this year. I found this cute little Santa Claus laundry garland at Michael's and there is actually two different kinds here. So I'll show you the differences in a moment. Excuse my little Christmas sweater. This is from Unique Vintage. I did some laundry earlier. But anyways, this one has little Santa boxers, which I think is so stinking cute. And there's also stockings on this one. And I just use little command hooks that are clear to hang these. This sign is from Magnolia Home. I've had that there for a while. And then this one's slightly different. It just doesn't have Santa's boxers. Um, the coats are very similar, like, and the actual clothing itself. So that's why I think they still go really well together. And then we have a little Ray Dunn canister here that um, is for Lucy because it has her treats inside. It says Santa Paws. And then the other canister is just her dog food. 
That's all we have here in the laundry room that's all Christmassy. Transitioning into our dining room area. So I have the holly leaves again on our chandelier here. And then I usually don't put the cups and silverware out till we're actually going to be dining in this area. So that's why you don't see that put out here. But I have this runner that I found on Amazon. It's actually reversible, but I love the burlap that's in the center here. So the plates are from the 99 cent store. The napkins are the same ones from Amazon. And I just love how this turned out. If you watch my vlogs, then you know how I put this together. Um, there's two different kinds of garland going on here from Joann's, as well as some picks that I separated to make it a little bit fuller. And then we have these little gold candle holders that are different variation of sizes. These trees actually do light up and they're so sparkly and fun. And this is my idea of farmhouse glam. A little sparkle. This is grandpa actually built this desk and we covered it um, with a tablecloth to make it into a little bar area. So the big beautiful sign is from Kirkland's and then I put these trees in these little metal containers that I found at Michael's. And then I just have a bunch of different paper plates and serving ware that we're going to be using on Christmas because we will be having Christmas here at, at our house. And then this tree is gonna look extra special once we get some more ornaments on her. This is our family tree. Um, so that's why I don't have the ornaments on her yet, but very, very soon. So if you watch Vlogmas, you'll get to see that. Um, but the little pom-pom and jingle bell garland I got last year and I just think it's so cute. I also have some picks in the tree like this one here to give more fullness um, and to help with spacing because this tree was a little bit more affordable and expensive from Walmart, but it had a lot of spacing. So I put some picks in there to make her fuller. And then I have this really cute metal collar on it that says Santa's Workshop. Going into our half bath. I love the shelves in our half bath. And so I was excited to get to decorate for Christmas in here because these shelves were put up this year, but I do like how it turned out. Just have some little details. And then I have this sleigh with some um, Ray Dunn towels, hand towels that say believe in ho, ho, ho. And then over here, I have this star and it says Mary and Bright, some lotion, I some bathroom spray and poopery, <laughs> essentials in a bathroom. Then I have a Ray Dunn little towel and then this fun wreath that I've had for years. And for the towels, the towels themselves are from Kohl's. And then I used some baker's twine to tie them in a bow. And I clipped these little um, clips on here that are from the Dollar Tree. And there's little berries and pine cones and like a little piece of cotton, little cotton flower. So I just thought that brought a little more detail to it. As we go up the stairs, you'll also notice these lanterns. They do have timers, so they just automatically turn on at six o'clock. And I have these little checkered bows on each one of them up the stairs. So here up on the ledge, sorry for the lighting being a little harsh, but these are a distressed wood snowflakes and there's two different sizes and two different styles. They're from Kirkland Home. I absolutely love them. They're so beautiful. And then we have this really large lantern that I put a bunch of different levels of faux candles. That's why that little remote is there um, because we can turn it on and off. That Those don't have timers, um, unfortunately, like the other ones. And upstairs is pretty minimal decor up here. I don't have a lot going on since we decided to focus on downstairs this year, but I do still really like how the loft area turned out. 
And wait till you see them all lit up. They're so magical. And just another angle. And so you can also see all the fun pillows. And I also have, this is actually a cookie jar, but I just think thought it looked super cute on that tray up here. So these trees, I believe you can find them at Home Goods and TJ Maxx just randomly. I actually had them in our wedding and in like the background at our reception. But now I use them at Christmas and I love it. Um, I did the fake snow underneath them and there's actually snow, like fake snow on the tops of them. And I have a couple little glittery and clear bulbs. Right as you're transitioning in from the loft to our master bedroom, I hung a faux mistletoe up on the top here over our doorway. And then we also just have a Christmassy pillow on the bed, which I believe is from Pottery Barn, but a while back. I almost forgot to share this picture that was from Walmart. I loved the wood beads that are in the frame, because we have that around the house, it's so country. And then it says, go tell it on the mountain. And Chris and I decided we're gonna leave that up all year round, or at least during the winter time, because um, it's meaningful to us and it really looks good with our decor. So that's staying. So walking into the beauty room, this is my space, my office and beauty space, like where I do all my filming. But I absolutely am in love with my tree. I know that I keep saying I love everything, but <laughs> seriously, I just love how girly this tree is. It is a white tree, but because there's so many pink accents, it almost seems to glow pink. And then I have some faux presents because I don't have actual presents under the tree yet. And I will get up close so you guys can see all the fun sparkly girly ornaments. I love the sparkly bows as well. So these silver ones I purchased at Macy's a very long time ago, like a couple years ago. But the pink ones should still be around. I purchased these last year at home at Hobby Lobby, excuse me. Going further back into the room, I have these stockings hung up. I did a multi-metal decor tree. So this has gold, rose gold, and silver accents. Here's another, here's a look at the other side of the tree. Okay, and then over here, we have some stockings. The little stocking holders are like these little snowflakes that are all blinged out. And I have this garland from Joanne's. The little presents light up. And these, I just put little, these little silver dusted pine cones intertwined with the garland. And I will show you it when it's all lit up later. Put these little sparkly poinsettias in here. 